Hey there guys, it's Ari over here, bringing the 23rd episode of my F1 2012 career. Today, we're at Spa, the Belgian Grand Prix, and it's a dry uh, it's a dry race, but it was a wet qualifying. Please go check out that qualifying episode, I'll put an annotation up in the top left, I think. And uh, so we're going to go on primes first, we're going to change it up, go on a long first stint, and uh, we'll probably go through about lap 6, uh, maybe lap 7, and go cautious fuel. And uh, if you're new to my channel and you haven't checked out any of my previous content, please click my channel name above the video. Go check those out. All the career videos so far, there's 24 of them. And uh, that might convince you to subscribe to me for weekly F120 show content. And also, for these next two weeks, just about, I'll be doing daily episodes of F1 as I'm on holiday. So, here's Hamilton on pole. Me in uh, Undisclosed until now. So... Here we are in 8th, and uh, please still go check out the qualifying if you haven't. And there we are, Ricardo there, on my right, my old teammate. We must, must overtake him, and uh, Vettel is out in 2nd, and uh, we must try and overtake him, because he is my closest challenger to my 2nd place in the World Championship. And uh, going through the 1st corner, very nice corner there, I've overtaken pretty much everyone in the top flight, apart from obviously the podium, so uh, Raikkonen still following me. Through uh, Rouge now, come through. Here's Kobayashi in third, doing very well for him. But I'm going to take that place from you, sir. Come through now. The engines are roaring, slipstreaming him here, and I'll probably get him into the braking zone. So coming through now, docking right, braking hard now. I've taken Kobayashi and oh Vettel, what a move! What a move! We've overtaken. That was mad techers there. <laughs> what do you say so myself? That was oh, what a move! Oh, two places, one corner, nice. So, uh, oh crap, a lot of understeer here. So, uh, we're chasing Hamilton now. Bit of marbles on my left tyre. Uh, that was a sweet move, still reveling in that. Two places in one corner, very nice. So that's, uh, what's that, up to second, so six places in three corners. That's, uh, that's really great. And uh, obviously ahead of Vettel, and he's my closer challenger. He's the one I want to try and beat at the very end of the season to maybe get a seat in Red Bull, as he is my closest rival. I'm not going to go for an easy option. I'm going to choose the hardest thing I can, which is Vettel, who's right next to me. So coming through now. Oh, crap. No, I've gone wide. No, I want to the gravel. No, Vettel's gone, you bastard. No. Made a mistake there. Come on, pushing on now. Going to have to try and catch Vettel. Kobayashi is right behind me and I've just undone that great move there. Vettel ahead of us. That stupid idiot. Damn it. Why did I have to make that mistake? Gone wide there. Had to go wide. Just didn't have enough grip around that corner. So coming through now. Breaking hard now. Are we going to overtake him now? Defending. Coming through now. Leaving him enough room though. And uh, oh. Is, is that Kobayashi? What happened? Looking back. Oh yes. Vettel is behind Kobayashi. Kobayashi's third. I do not mind that. Do not mind Kobe actually being third. Vettel down in fourth. Ha ha ha. Screw you, mate. <laughs> I don't hate Vettel. <laughs> it may sound like it. I'm just, I'm just bad talking him because he's my rival, basically. You you're gonna you have to bad talk any rival you have. Nah, uh, he tribute uh, you know, he's a he's a great driver and in real life he is he's probably not the best. But he's pro I, I argue he's probably in the top ten of all time drivers. Uh, you know, if you don't agree, you know, uh, uh, Sir Jackie Stewart doesn't agree, but um, I think he's in the top 10 at least. Just the form he shows, and he's so young still. Great driver, but obviously this is a game. He is my rival. I must bad talk him. So coming through now, understeering quite a lot. Grab right off the track, in fact. And uh, Kobayashi's going to be right on me now. Going through now. In the middle of lap 2, we're going to go aim for lap uh, 7, I think it was. But um, maybe we might hope I have the pace to catch Hamilton here. And here, Kobe actually quite. Wor I was quite worried here, as he was just sniffing around my gearbox. And I'm um, sort of leading a train here. I don't. I don't know why really. <laughs> I'm not that slow, but um, apparently right now at this stage I am. So coming through now, using a bit of curse here, going wide a bit. That's not going to help us at all. Kobayashi is going to be right there with me. As well as Vettel. Changing to mix three. And I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try and cap catch Hamilton and build the gap to Kobayashi. Coming through now. Oh, locking up massively. 
That's not going to help me catch Hamilton. And uh, Kobayashi is right beside us, but no. We're cursing it down the pit straight, and that has not helped me try to catch Hamilton. He is seven seconds ahead. Ricky now clipped in the apex. Much better start to the lap. Bit of curse down to Eau Rouge. So Hamilton, I can just see him in the disc, just went over Eau Rouge there. Seven seconds behind us. And he's darted off into the distance. I can see him there, just about. And there you go, he's just turned in. And now I shall do the same, breaking hard now. This is the corner where I made that sweet overtake for two places in one corner. I've gone half a second faster than Hamilton. Well, actually not Hamilton, whoever set the fastest lap, really. Five, uh, half a second faster than the pace. Through this corner, feathering the throttle here. Quite a lot of uh, gravel on my tyre, or grass. Coming through now, building a gap to Kobayashi. Uh, not Kobayashi, whoa, what the... That's Massa. What's happened there? Massa's third now. I don't know if you guys caught onto that. I don't know what happened there. Massa is third now. And uh, I'm going to guess Kobayashi's fourth. Uh, do, do not know what has happened there. So, uh, wow, that's great for Massa. Third place there. So, uh, so really, that's even better for me. So Vettel must have gone down one more place. So uh, that is just more points for me in uh, trying to keep him off. Fend him off and keep my second runner-up place in the World Championship. I don't think I'll be winning it this year, definitely not, I think Hamilton has run away with it. He's about 40 points off. If I, if I was going to win the championship, I'd have to probably win three or th three races at least. But I don't think that will happen. Coming down to the chicane. Coming through now to the pit straight. Cursing it. That's the pit straight, and this is where I'm going to cut the lap, guys. And here... Now it's lap six, as you can see, it's transitioned three laps, and that is because all the, those three laps, a few people pit, Massa is third, Grosjean is fourth, so Vettel has dropped off even more, and in these, on those three laps, that's all you really missed, and uh, also you just missed me going fastest, I'm really catching Hamilton now, really catching him, I'm on the same bit of straight now, really, and uh, maybe in two laps time, I'll be right there with him, so... Uh, Hope you don't mind, I've cut three laps out, but really I was just tr trying to go faster and faster. So it wouldn't have been very entertaining if I just commented over three laps, just saying the, pretty much the same thing. So now we are catching Hamilton. He's only 3.1 seconds. Oh, oh god, a lot of honesty, that's not helping. And Kobe, I've uh, got a quite, oh, sorry, Kobe, actually, you've got quite a gap to Massa, and he has got quite a gap to Grosjean. And uh, that also means that Vettel is far behind, and there's a lot of, as you can see on the mini map, mini map on the right, there's a lot of space between those cars. So uh, I'm well and truly ahead of Vettel, so that's very good. And uh, really, really, realistically, my job's done right now. My job is done. I want to finish ahead of Vettel for these next seven, seven or so races. But obviously, a win is nice. I've only won two, and they're both in Toro Rosso's. Really, I should be winning maybe one more in a Mercedes. And that is what I'm going for right now. Faster sectors here. I'm chasing down Hamilton. 3.2 ahead of me. Fuel's an optimum right now, so we might have to think about changing to mix two. Going through now, flat through that corner. And I, I will change to mix two here. Really close to Hamilton now. We're on the same bit of chicane. And he's pit. I shall pit as well. He's gone to the pit. My original plan was lap 7, but he is diving into the pits, and I shall do the same. And uh, obviously, I'll change to options, and he'll change to uh, prime. So, really, Hamilton has done a great job at keeping those options. And really, I think I think every single AI is pitting right now. So, really, theoretically, I should have had the slower strategy, but it's worked out for me. And this means also that I'll be on a faster tyre for the end stint. Using a bit of curse here. Coming down to Eau Rouge, using quite a lot of curves, half of it in fact. And uh, Hamilton there, as you can see in the distance, just gone over Eau Rouge and I'm doing that now. Not lifting a bit. Coming down the straight now, on lap 7, we've got 4 laps left to overtake Hamilton. And uh, gain some great points on the Vettel. Breaking on now, over the bump. Oh god, lost it. I'm just going to replay that. There we go, just going to replay that. Hope you guys don't mind. 
Breaking now, gonna redo this corner. All right, yes, yeah, okay, a bit cleaner there, and a bit wide, but didn't want to lose it. And uh, we're because we're only 1.9, and uh, that is what replays are for. And uh, coming through this corner, not on the steering, a bit nice rubber grip from these option ties. A bit cold right now, obviously, but I'm heating them up, and uh, they'll be nice and warm to try and catch Hamilton. Going through, lifting off now, putting the power down, and uh, I think the Mercedes does have a lot of good straight line speed, but the McLaren does as well. Going through now, but I can hear the McLaren engine now, so I'm getting very close. Visually, I'm getting closer as well. Coming through, I just need to pause and just say, this Mercedes does look very nice in the sun. The glistening body, and then you look at the nose, and it's like, oh, what the hell. Oh, I hate these step noses. I really hope they are like just banished in like the next year or so. Or just oh, I hate that rule. It is really disgusting. The the noses are really. I mean, I've gotten used. I've gotten used to them when watching the real thing, but it just still on a game, especially when you're when you're driving around in this camera mode, you can see it all the time, and it's just oh, it looks so ugly. Just what the hell? It doesn't look like a F1 car. So coming through now, slipstream Hamilton. Gonna go around the outside, late break. Gonna have to leave him some room though. I've gone wide and he's taken the corner normally. I'm right there with him now, only five tenths behind him. Going into Urush and I've got DRS available after Urush. Going through now. And uh, where's the DRS point? Should be right about now. Yeah, there we go. Bit of curse, DRS. Getting a long range toe, I think, maybe. Breaking hard now, we're right there with him. Oh, touching his rear tyre there. Getting a lot in the breaking zone. I'm hustling and hurrying him, going around the outside here. Having to give him some room, though. Coming through now. Taking the corner nice and tight. Don't want to understeer too much. Coming through, getting a great traction off that corner, but Hamilton's still there defending very well. Coming through now, down this corner, I'm going to have a tiny bit of a look on the inside, but I think better of it. Coming through out, oh god, losing a lot of time in that little section. Trying to stay with him. Coming through now, a bit wide there. So I probably will be able to try and take him again down to the chicane and down the pit straight. And if not, then the DRS zone. On the next lap. Come to the end of lap 8. Going to lap 9. Changing the mix 3 here. I think I probably have enough fuel. Flat through there. Coming down to the chicane. Breaking hard now. We're going to get really close to him. Oof. Right there. Just sniffing his gearbox. And uh, cursing it down the pit straight. Getting some good traction there. Slipstreaming him a bit. Gonna go around the outside again, trying it. Late break, going around the outside again, but I have to give him some room. And he has gone, and he's taken the normal racing line again. So he's doing the same thing to me, making me go wide. Quite good racing from him, but coming through now into Arouge side by side. Oh, and I've taken him into Arouge, and I've taken that. I've overtaken him in the middle of Arouge. That was a sweet move. I have DRS as well to try and pull away from him. Change the mix to. Oh, that was another sweet move. Two great moves in this race. That was exact, nearly replica of Weber on Alonso in 2011 in the real race. That was sweet. Side by side, side pod by side pod in the middle of Rouge, And then he kindly and respectively gave me some room. Quite a surprise. It is Hamilton. <laughs> um, yeah, so very good overtake there. And uh, we're in first now. We are in first. We're in the driving seat. We've got it all to lose now. But I'm on mix two. And Hamilton, I'm going to guess he's probably going to go on mix three. So I will have to defend hard. And uh, I think he will probably try and catch us and overtake us in the DR zone. So we're going to have to be wary. So we, the race is not over yet. And he's there on the mini map. You can see he has got a lot closer. In that second sector, he is catching up on me. But then on these third, on this third and first sector, I've got the straight line speed to match. So coming through to the end of lap nine here, 
not lifting through this corner. Hamilton's right there with me. Breaking hard now, down to the chicane. Taking it nice, clipping the apex onto the pit straight, using the rest of our cars down the pit straight. And we are there, breaking now through to lap 10. Taking a nice line through that first corner. Hamilton's 1.3 behind us. I don't know if we'll have DRS by the time we get there. Going through Eau Rouge now, the place where we made that overtake done. Going through, not lifting at all. Coming through now, and I've got a bit of curves if I need it. Deploying a bit of it, and uh, I think maybe Hamilton has DRS. Let's see. Don't think so. I'm using a bit more curves, though, just in case. Breaking now. I can hear the McLaren, but he's 1.4 behind me. Through now, going over the, that apex, getting a bit... Come through. Understeering a tad. And uh, Hamilton's still very much there. And Massa is doing really well in third. Really great job for him. Breaking now. Just letting the car go through. Ooh, got a bit wide there. For, too much for my liking there. I can easily get that wrong. Breaking now into the swooping section. This is where Hamilton's getting a lot of time on me. As you can see on the mini-map physically, just the distance looks so much smaller. I can hear his engine as well. Gone wide a bit there. He's going to be right there. Going to have to use a tiny bit of curves. He is right there. Six tenths behind me. But into the chicane, I will gain a bit of time to, into the braking zone. Got one more. One more lap to go. Down to the chicane. A lot of marbles on my tyres right now. Breaking hard now into the chicane. Going a tiny bit wide on that first one. Going round. Pit straight, cuz, and we're coming to the last lap of the race. Still defending from Hamilton very much, so he is still a threat. He's 1.1 behind us. Breaking now, coming down. Taking the corner very nicely. Breaking though, and Hamilton still looks very near, much nearer than last lap. So he probably will have DRS going through. Oh, Rouge, he's backed off a tiny bit, but he probably will have DRS. And I'm going to use Kurz now, half of it now, as he has DRS. Yep, he's he's catching up as you can see. Breaking hard now, he's only two, three tenths behind me. Going wide there. He's just right there, I really have to defend. And I'm losing my rears a tiny bit, getting on the grass as well. He's right there, just so close. Taking that corner very nicely. Ooh, losing the rear a tiny bit. Coming through this section now. This is where he's going to gain a lot of time on me. Coming through now. I'm going to have to try and go as fast as I can through this section. Breaking now. Letting the car go through. Accelerating. No. Oh, crap. Gone wide. No. Onto the rumble strip. And Hamilton's taking me. No. Hamilton's taking me on the last lap. Breaking through now. This swooping section. He's got a lot more grip through here. I'm just losing my rears now. Coming through now. Half, near a third of lap left. Third sector, that is it. We've got one sector to pass him now. Using all my curves, trying to catch him up, getting a bit of a toe here. Trying to catch him up on the last lap. This is do or die stuff here right now. This is high drama here at Spa. Going through now, slipstream him, going left. Now right, across the grass, breaking hard. Bit too early, going through. I'm so, we're side by side in the chicane. He's got the inside though. Touching his rear tyres. No, he's got through and that's it. The race is over. He's got first. Oh, frustrating. We've got second. We've passed our objective. Oh, that was so annoying. Yet again, I faulted at the very end. And that was high drama stuff there at the very end. Hamilton is taking me, showing really why he should be winning the title you know, he's done some great drives this season in this career mode. And there you have it, guys. I'm second. Felipe Massa, third. And Vettel, surprisingly, in eighth. What happened to him? He just went nowhere. And, uh, you know, he's gonna, probably going to be my rival. And um, he's not doing a very good job. And he's making it quite easy for me.
So Vettel is there, Weber not even made it into the point, no Weber did make it into the point, sorry. And uh, I'm second still and uh, Hamilton's got a 51, point, a 51 point gap. Vettel is now 26 points away from me, so that's a very nice lead I have on him, very comfortable. And uh, you know, really should set us up for a good second half of the season. And uh, Mercedes were catching up on Toro Rosso, we've moved up ahead of Williams now. Still need to try and catch up Toros and my old team. But hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. I've been Arava. Really enjoyed making that video and commenting on it. Very high drama stuff at the end. Hope that's worth of a, uh, worthy of a like there, guys. And uh, tune in next time for the Italian Grand Prix, the qualifying and the race. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day and I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode.